Hey guys, today is the first video of our multi video series, including how to mod BMG. Today we're going to be starting off with what you need and how you actually create your first engine. So first you're going to want to open up uh, Windows Explorer. You want to find where the actual BMG directory is so you can base your engines off the in-game engines. It's going to be this PC, whatever you're just stored on, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, BMG drive, content, vehicles, and whichever vehicle you want. Just so you know, there are, the vehicles aren't exactly the ones that you see in game. As you can see there's semi SPR for SPR4, um, there's pigeon, the pickup, and if you want to do anything to the pickup, it's not going to be in this file. As you can see, it's just like configurations and stuff. What you're going to want to look for is the common zip file, and it'll be in the pickup one. Common is basically where all the main files that are shared among cars are. So, as you can see, there's suspension, steering wheels, spare tire hubs, engines. And down here, there's going to be brake pads, ETK engines, and even some semi stuff, I guess. But first, let's go see what we need. Obviously, you need WinRAR or ZZIP, which or 7ZIP, whichever one you want to use. This will be useful for creating ZIP files, and I pre I pre I honestly prefer using Notepad plus plus. It's really simple. You can just right click and not right click, double click and open it, and it is very user friendly. I will say some people just copy the files using WinRAR and then paste it over to a notepad file which where they uh, edit it and save it as JB, JBeam file. So let's actually get started on creating an engine. So I actually have a shortcut for this right here, vehicle shortcut. For example, let's say we wanted to create an ETK 100 engine. That would be in a common folder. And you want to scroll down, and as you can see with Notepad Plus Plus, it'll show this little icon. And the .dae files are actual models themselves. And as you can see right here, ETK engine. This refers to the newer ETK engines. DCKI is a separate uh, zip file. So let's say I wanted to create a really high revving. And line four. Let's go over the main things that are useful for this. So let's start at the top here. This is this uh, this name highlighted right here is the main name that the game reads. So if you don't change this, then the game isn't going to read that you've created a different engine. So for our example, we're going to change this sooner or later. Um, this doesn't. These ones don't really matter. It'll just show the. This will just show the name that like you can see in game. This one, I don't even know if you can see this in game, but you can see the value in game. I'm sure of that. And then our slots are very important that you don't mess these up because trust me, I've messed them up quite a few times. I didn't realize why my mods weren't working until a few minutes after. And, yeah, it's basically, for all the additional parts down here, it's useful for, um, it's useful to show what slot, slot category, category it goes under. You can see there's exhaust, ACU, nitrous, internals, transmission, and this gives a good idea of what these do. So this is the type, slot type. This first section is slot type. This means that the second 
uh, category is the default, or when you spawn in the engine, what it goes to. And this is the description. Intake, exhaust, engine management. And core slot basically means whether you can mark it as empty or not. So next, let's go to powertrain. Um, this is, you can't really change anything in this. It's like a main thing that goes over all these. Um, and then main engine. This is where you want to mess with all stuff. <sighs> okay. So <laughs> you can change the idle RPM. That may, that may vary whether you have an ECU installed or not. The max RPM that the engine can like operate at without blowing up right here. The inertia or how, how fast the engine revs up. The friction, how much friction the engine has. Dynamic friction, that's a similar type of thing. Then engine brake torque. This is also kind of self-explanatory. Burn efficiency. That can lead to particulates, like how clean the exhaust is. Um, fuel system. Main tank. That's just another slot type. And then this is the gasoline uh, energy type, which means that you have to select a gasoline fuel tank for this engine to work. But you can also change it to diesel or electric. So first, let's get started on our engine. As you can see, I want to make an engine that goes up to like, I don't know, 12,000 RPM. As you can see on this part, it only goes up to 7,500 RPM from this category. So basically what I'm going to do, copy, paste, 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 paste. And I'll just change these values. I guess 8,500, 9,500, 10,500. 11,500 and 12,500 and this this torque thing is a little easy to get the hang of but it's basically measured in newton meters of torque so you kind of sometimes you have to make a like a google sheets graph or you can just do it in your head but um to create an accurate torque curve um you have to do this very precisely but for our demonstration, we'll just go simple and make it so that higher the RPM, more power. So I'm going to go for 244, 249, maybe 258, 267. I'm just picking random numbers here. It's, you don't have to do anything. Uh anything like complex or anything right now 275 maybe 286 294 and then 300 it means there's 300 newton meters of torque um and i'll just let you know if you want to take a dynagraph from an in real life car you're going to have to take it into account powertrain loss is around 15% so you just multiply each number by 0 0.15 and then convert that to newton meters obviously we're going to need to change this to 13,000 I guess and then oh okay I guess I'll make it a roll color big particulates and these these are like exhaust popping sounds. If you want to change that, you gotta you can uh, maybe my favorite exhaust popping sounds are the bass. So I would go and find where it has this on the bass and just copy and paste the event thing right inside of these. Uh, uh, I forget what it's called. I don't even know what it's called, but, you know, these things, these things. Um, so, now we have a sound config for our starter motor. 
This just tells the game which sound file to play for the strata motor. There are a couple there are a couple for these. There's a shut off, there's a start, and there's a start loop. And you can also change the starter volume. I guess I'll change that to seven maybe. And here's your sound configs. So this can be quite a bit confusing. For right now I'm just gonna say that this changes a bunch of like the pitches and how loud it is. And the main thing up here is the sound sample name, which tells the game which sample to play. Vehicle con vehicle controller, this is for like if you have the throttle system or clutch system turned on or arcade mode. And this flex bodies, nodes, beams, triangles, all that stuff, that is just modeling related. And I've absolutely no idea how to do any of it, so we're not gonna be going over that probably anytime soon. I have tried modeling before. I'm really bad at it, just like my art skills. So let's let's test this thing out. And I just realized that I did not make a separate engine for this. So what I'm going to do, as you can see, I'm selecting from the top. I'm going to select from this top one, this top bracket, all the way down until the engine part of the code is done. And all the way down to this part. What I'm doing, I'm just going to copy that. And then go right back into it. Since I didn't save it, that means that I can just create a new Notepad++ file and paste it into there. And lastly, we're going to need to add another one of these parentheses. I can't, I don't even know what these things are called, but they're not brackets. And then we're going to change the in-game name to, I guess, underscore high rev. And then this name to that. And I guess we'll test it out, see if it works. So if you want to actually test this out, um, Either you can just drop it, drag and drop it into this um, ETK engine J-beam, just like paste it into there. But for the sake of modding, I'm going to save this. Save, hang on. save as, yes. And it's a very important to save it as all types, not normal text file, you gotta save it as all types. You can name this literally whatever you want, but I'm just gonna name it high revving etk underscore star because that's my name not my actual name but you know and then we're gonna add it a dot j beam i'm just gonna save it to my desktop because that's easily uh easily findable saved should pop up here soon Yep, there it is. High revving I4. Close this now. Close this. Close this. But I, we will need to get our mods full up. Um, in order to make your mod, you want to hang on. Create a zip archive. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to be totally honest, I forgot. Mm. Okay. Since it's in the common folder, that means that you don't have to put any actual vehicle name. But you do have to put it in this file path order. Put vehicles. And inside that, you create another folder called whatever vehicle name you usually do, but for this I'm just going to do common because that's how the game reads it. And inside that I'll just write ETK, 
you don't really need to do this. You, you could have just dropped the file in there, but it's for simplicity's sake and clarification. So you just drop it in there, and that is basically your mod done. And I'll just drop this in there and see if it works. Let's go to grid map, since it loads the fastest. Well, that's good. It's a good sign. Our game hasn't crashed yet. Let's find our ETK. This is the stock motor. As you can see, there's the 2 liter inline 4 high revving engine. And as you can see, we've encountered a problem where it does not rev all the way up. And to solve this issue, I'll be showing you why. Go back to our vehicles folder, common. Scroll all the way down to where you found the ETK engine. And then you can do Control F to find something. And I'm just going to do ECU. There it is. You can find the ECU here. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it into our mod. Close all this. And at the bottom, after this second curly bracket, I guess I'll call that, you paste it in, change the name, and then down here you can change whether it is time-based, uh, soft, or drop limiter. So I'm going to change this to a drop limiter. And then this will go to 12,500. This is the rev limiter RPM. You can just save that. Yes, I would like to modify that. And if you would like to mod Demon G, I would suggest putting this game on an SSD so it's less of a loading time because you're definitely going to be going in and out of the game a lot. Let's test it out this time. There we go. They don't need this. I think you'll see up at the top that it says turbo and NA, they're basically at the same power band. Uh, the reason why is that there's a there is an efficiency level for the turbos. Um, 
and you kind of have to specify what kind of what range of RPM it's useful for. So let's go change that real quick, and you'll see what I mean in a minute if you're confused. Let's see, if, I forgot what I called it. Um, high revving ETK. There it is. Actually, I'm gonna need to. I think the easiest way would just be to modify it in the game fall folder. Control find turbo I4 turbo. You might be able to see down here. This is the engine RPM. Efficiency and exhaust factor. It only goes to 7,000. So I'm going to need to up that quite a bit. I'm just going to keep everything the same. Because it, it, this doesn't really matter that much. Turbo should work well. I might as well I might as well give it some more power. I mean of course you want our boat blow off valve. So I'll just put that at a two. Test it out one more time. You'll learn quickly while J beaming that you really just want to fi fi uh, follow how the devs made the engines in this game and. You want to follow, like, like, let's say, for example, you're making a supercharger. You want to follow the so, same sort of steps that it would take to create that for your own supercharger that you're making. That would be based off the game's already, uh, or the I mean, supercharger that, that's already in the game. And it's just really... It's, this game can be a little bit uh, confusing, especially for some people, if you want to mod. Which is why there are lots of modding Discord servers, and if I should make my own, just let me know in the comments so I can help. Because there are issues that can happen in cer uh, certain circumstances that you may not know how to do that I didn't address in this video that I can help with. There you go, you made your own mod. thing I may add is I forgot to mention the section of an engine. It's really simple to do. It's engine durability. And you can also change the cooling and oil system. Thermals enabled. If you don't want your engine to overheat, I'm sure. I haven't tested this out, but you can probably make that false. Engine durability, um, cylinder wall, uh, temperature th damage threshold, 
Let's uh, turn that all the way up. And these are the main ones that you don't blow up your engine with. So I guess I'll just be adding a zero to that. And then it should not blow up over 4,000 newton meters of torque. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was very, inf I hope it was very inf uh, informational. Um, thank you for watching. And I'm going to wrap this up with showing you a couple of my mods and a, cute, a couple sneak peeks. So, I'm sure you didn't know, but I made the Toyota Truck Engine mod and the 1FC FE. That's a little bit less known, but I do have custom sounds coming for this. And I probably will be making a tutorial soon about it. Um, it's pretty simple. It's not too hard to understand. You just got to get it. You just gotta do a lot of tweaking. And I will also mention, I may or may have not made a pension engine from a four-wheeler. <laughs> and it may or may not have 25 horsepower, and it may or may not have custom sound. I'll just play this here. I don't know why my single so I don't know why my single cylinder four track sounds like a can am, but anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day.